Alright guys, welcome to an extreme ant farm survival and I'm lagging a bit. God knows what that is. That's done off fancy. That seems to do it better. And what I want to talk about today is pretty much my life. So I'm going on holiday and and you know, it's gonna be fun. I'll be back in a minute. Anyway, I'm going on holiday, and yeah, it's going to be fun, but it's something a mate said to me, which really did, <laughs> cool, which really did sort of think something to me, and that was pretty much about getting a girlfriend, and it actually did hit me a lot, because I've pretty much, well, me and my mate pretty much talked to each other, and that's all we really talked to. Is me and him pretty much day in day out, and yeah, it does get boring. When well, no, actually, it doesn't get boring because we're actually really close, and we know we can have a laugh. We know each other's boundaries, and it's fun, really. But and then there's that time where, like, if I'm going on holiday, who does Jay have to talk to? Or if Jay's at college and I'm at home, who do I have to talk to? And you know, it, it really does get depressingly boring. And pretty much, college is like a new opportunity. Because in my life, the chances of me getting a girlfriend in high school was pretty low. I'm like a little computer nerd that doesn't really do much. And you know, it's pretty much, I'm not going to say depression. Well, it is slight depression. I do sit there sometimes. And I do get bored and really depressed. But it's not a major factor of depression. And, you know, it does hit you sometimes. I mean, even me going on holiday all the time, having a lot of fun. After a while, you slowly realise that what are you going to do when all that isn't there? Like, if someone's away and you don't have him to talk to like me and Jay and what are you going to do? what fun is there to do? and that's what that's what hit me and it's, it's a big factor you know not knowing what to do, not knowing who to talk to what to talk about it's actually quite depressing oh, what's this? so yeah, pretty much. I'm going to be working on my fitness. Definitely going to try to get a girlfriend because it is very lonely sometimes. You know, I'm, I'm going to admit that I am quite chubby. And I haven't really had many girls. I mean, the first proper relationship I had was when I was seven. And I was this cute little monkey faced kid, and I went out with a girl for about three years and probably the best times of my life I had a good family good friends and you know l life was on track I wasn't extremely oh shit oh fuck 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 ah oh, I'm dead I wasn't like extremely overweight or anything else that could ruin the factors of that and it was fun, you know. It, it was just amazing because everything I had was in front of me. I was doing well in school. And then there was that point where she moved away. And that was probably the worst part. Because I didn't have... Well, I, I was just left with a troublemaking friend who didn't really help. You know? Like, I was just left there little mischief that I was pissing about getting annoying and it fucked up my grades majorly and that's why in uh, this year hopefully I'm gonna lose some weight and ah oh, you bastard fuck off lose some weight and definitely definitely try to get a girlfriend 
and yeah what I'm trying to say is if you're like me little lardy kid struggling to get into a relationship just you know try definitely try because that's what I'm gonna do and hopefully it should work out for me oh, you fucking bastard and hopefully it'll work out for me and you know hopefully it should work out for you that's pretty much all I want to say just keep trying never give up and hopefully you'll get there because that's definitely what I'm doing I'm just hack oh shit because that's what I'm doing and I am trying and I am slowly succeeding fuck off where are these skeletons come from Oh fuck, I'm near the skeleton spawner, ain't I? Ah, oh, blanket. But yeah, guys. Just, like I said, don't give up. Depression hits all of us once in a while. It's hit me a few times, but, you know, I've had a good mate that's helped me for it a lot. And hopefully, if you're lucky enough, your mates should help you for it a lot as well. That's all for me, guys. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you later.